All right, guys, welcome to another how to video. I'm going to show you guys how to make a motor boat taming raft that you can use for everything. I mean, just takes care of uh, all your needs. You can fit a lot of stuff on here. You're allowed 135 items on a motor boat. And I'm going to show you, and I'm going to put 98 pieces down to make the raft. So here's some of the items I'm going to be using. Um, as you can go back to the beginning of the video, you'll be able to see what they are. Basically, this is going to be a metal raft. Uh, if you're doing PVP on official or PVE on official, you can't put dinosaur gateways on platforms anymore, which include the boats. Um, Ark and Wildcard, they've officially decided to just mess that up for us. But if you're playing on a unofficial server or on a single player, you can do this. So, and besides the fact you wouldn't want to do it on official anyway, because if you get off the game, someone's just going to destroy it because they can destroy your stuff. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put down the motorboat. Need the gas. I'm going to put down the motorboat and I am going to lower the platforms. I showed you guys how to do this in another video. It's pretty basic. So you just grab it, put E on it. The boat goes down and I can't drive it yet. There's no gas. So I'm going to get on it. I'm going to put the gas in it, if it lets me access it, there we go, and now I can turn it on and off and drive it. So I'm just going to turn it on, drive it out just a little bit, not too far, I want to be kind of close to the land. And this is just a design, um, I got an idea from someone else I watched a long time ago, I kind of changed the design to what I like, and this is how I do it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to lower these platforms. Um, lower the foundations. So I use wooden pillars and thatch foundations. So first thing you do is snap a thatch foundation kind of in the center there, as far out as you can go. And then you're going to throw a wooden pillar in the middle of it. What this does is it allows you two different snap points. One's a snap point to the foundation. The other is a snap point to the pillar. So what I'm going to try to do, and as you can see, I have trouble with it. It always does this. Um, wild card, it'll show you it's going to put one spot and it'll snap somewhere else. It's the most annoying thing with building an arc is they never snap where they show you they're gonna snap or they snap somewhere and break something else. So you got a timer. Now I don't have the timers on mine. Um, I have them extended a little bit so you can always pick up stuff, but I'm showing you guys as if you wouldn't. So you can see I'm trying to lower it. It's not working. Keep trying to lower it. And neither one of them are lower. And this is, like I said, this is the most annoying thing. It should just lower immediately. Show and lowered, and it snaps higher. Show and lowered, snaps higher. Annoying. So, if you can get through the frustration of that part of ARC, um, the rest of it's pretty darn fun. I, I mean, I love ARC. It's my favorite game. Don't get me wrong. It's just this snap thing is very annoying. There we go. So, that's how you lower it. So, it lowers, and then you just repeat the process till you get it where you want it. I'm not going to show you guys the whole route. I just wanted to show you how annoying it is. And we're going to keep lowering. You can see two snap points. There we go. It went lower. Now we're good. And we just keep going until we get it where we want it. Once I get it where I want it, then I'm just going to leave the one um, thatch foundation down. And I'm going to go grab my metal ones. So let's grab these metal foundations. And we're going to throw those in my inventory. And then I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need these thatch foundations anymore. So we're just going to grab the metal foundations. And as I showed you guys in the beginning, I think it's 20, it's uh, 20, 29 I need. You need 29 foundations and one hatch frame. So then what we do is we just get on top of the boat. And we're just going to set these metal foundations as such. That's going to be a hatch frame. So I can access the motor okay you can put a foundation there if you lower it but you need to use ramps i'm just doing it with a hatch frame because that's what most people do just to kind of show you guys how it works and you're going to just extend this out and you're going to continue adding these foundations now once you have those nine down you can't place any more so the way you do this is with a thatch ceiling or any ceiling and you snap it like that and you throw the foundation under it and it will let you keep snapping now, if you're using um, S plus or structure superstructures, you cannot do this. It will not let you go out more than like two. Um, I don't know why they haven't programmed that yet, but they won't let you go further. If you're using regular ones with the arc ones, 
the normal, you can go out pretty darn far. As long as you keep snapping these, it'll let you keep going out. It'll count these foundations as real foundations and you can keep going forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap this out. So from the motor, which is the back part of the boat, we're going to have five foundation links behind. And if you count the motor, there's going to be that one and four more. So five total in the front, five total in the back. So it's going to be 10 long, three wide. So I'll show you guys, but basically there you go. And um, I'm gonna kind of jump forward a little bit here in a minute and just show you when it's done. So there we go. So as, as I said, you're gonna have five in the back and I'm counting them to make sure I have five. There's five. And then from the motor forward, you want five. So one, two, three, four, and five. That's all you want, 10 long. You can make it longer if you want, but or wider. There's no purpose to it when I, when I show you what I'm gonna do. So now I'm going to snap a ramp so I can get on and off the boat easily. Right there. Then we're going to get rid of those ceilings. Don't need them anymore. Now we're going to start building up the sides. Let me grab my items I need. And I know 29 uh, foundations. And then the, the wall is 25. It's a weird number, but you'll understand why when I start laying them out. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a wall here. I want the trap to be three wide so that you can fit bigger dinos like a Therizinosaur, an Allosaur in it, Carnosaur. If you have it too wide, sometimes the Therizinosaur can jump right over it, and you don't want that. So we're going to go a three wide trap. So we're going to go too high. Too high is high enough. You're not going to want to put a Rex in here. Trust me. You're going to stay uh, Allosaur downs about where you want it. You don't want to go too high. And as you can see, the glitch, snappy glitch thing, annoying, very annoying. Can't decide where it wants to go. But there you go. You just keep snapping. I'm going to snap a doorway there. And as you can see, it's off-centered. So it's this wall right here. Even though it looks like it's perfectly in line when I'm jumping, I'm going to take it down and replace it. As long as it looks right, we're good to go. See? Perfect line. So that's what we want. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these dinosaur gateways in. Um, like I said, you cannot do this on official anymore. They've eliminated it. So we're just gonna snap it as uh, eye level. I'm not gonna do no ladders and make it all perfect. You see, I got a gap here. I don't want the gap. So make sure there's no gap. Yep, see there's no gap. So I'm gonna just pick it up and I'm gonna re-put it down. And just want to make sure it's as, as, as close as you can. Just kind of, it, it looks good no matter what. As long as it's close, it'll look good. So make sure there's no gap over here. Just for aesthetic reasons. It don't matter if there's a little gap. Nothing can get in it. But I'm kind of bad about that stuff. I want it to look pretty. So then I'm going to snap one on the other side. Same way. There we go. And then that looks good for the gates. Gateways. So now I'm going to grab these ramps, and these are one of the most annoying things to put on a boat, or anything, because they want to snap all over the place. Look at that. Two different snap points. So I'm having trouble with it, so I decided to take the gateway off, and now I'm going to try to put these down. It wants to snap inside the boat. It's so weird. I don't know why they do this. Just can't make up its mind. See, it wants to go in the boat. It's got two snap points on the outside. It's so strange. So as we get those down, I took since I took the gateway, we're just gonna put the gateway right back down. Now I have on my server, I have collision um, obstruction gone. So you can actually put things in things, but I'm doing this as if it doesn't, didn't, so you guys can see how it works. You can do just what I'm doing, even without that obstruction thing. Trust me, it works. I've done it multiple times. Broke several pieces because they snap in the wrong spot, but it works. See, watch this one. What? Snapped in the wall or in the foundation. Stupid. 
pick it up and put it back on. You got a timer on there. I think you got like 30 seconds to pick it up. I think I have mine set for longer than that. That's why I can pick them up longer. So now we got those uh, those ramps down. Now I'm going to go back to walls. I'm just going to build these up. And these I want too high in the back. And then we're going to go out four long here to cover the inside of the boat. So four on each side here. All right. And then, of course, one across here. We're going to do the same thing with the doorway. Make sure it works. Make sure they're lined up, which they are. First try. Wow, it worked. All right. And that's what we look like so far. So now I'm going to throw another ceiling on top of that. And then I'm going to use the slope walls. Well, actually, let me put down these, uh, these other doorways. I want a doorway out here. Maybe one day they'll make us a fence that we can uh, put a door in a fence. I'm going to grab these fences. I'm going to grab my sloped right and left walls and my sloped roofs. And we're going to get those down. Also need ramps. I want a ramp on each door here. There we go. And the rails. So it just needs five metal rails. I mean, you could put walls here if you want. I just like the metal rails. It makes it more open. Makes it look cool. All right. I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna work on this back ramp. So the back ramp is only going to be two um, because you can't snap more than two because the foundations aren't far enough. If you put another foundation down, you might be able to, but you don't need more than two. See, there's a gap there. I can't put the third one. That's fine. So we're going to work on both sides. I want two, two ramps. Two's wide enough to get every dino I want in this boat. You don't need more than that. Come on, just snap from there we go. Now you see they got a gap there. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys how it works because um, dinos won't be able to get up that if you leave that gap there. So when you park the boat to trap something, you're gonna want the boat up against the land. So I'm just gonna back it up a little bit and show you. So see, no gap. And that's how you do it. And the dino can just walk right up it. All right, just like my other boat over there that I'm using as a model. Turn this thing off. So now we want to work on our roof. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these slopes down. Uh, the wall right and wall left things. Whatever they call them. Sloped right, sloped left. So I want one backwards there. And that's just for kind of like aesthetics and make sure nothing comes over the wall. If I got something bigger that can go over two. But like I said, I'm not putting a Rex in there. So we're good. You need three high for Rexes. So now we're going to put these sloped metal roofs. I'm just going to snap them on. You only need the one sloped uh, right and left. And then uh, sloped roofs will snap to them in a line just like this. All the way across. So now i got my eight sloped roofs now. I'm going to grab the hatch frame. I want the hatch frame in the front. Right there. I don't want it where I'm driving the boat. It just gets in the way. And then we're going to grab the other ceilings and slap a couple right there. So you need three ceilings for that. And then that's pretty much it for the inside of the boat. You just need the hatch frame up top and a ladder, which I'll put those in a minute. All right, so now forward, going back. I went and got my ladder and everything. I'm going to snap the ladder in here. Right or left, I didn't care just so long it works and I can use it. And then we're going to snap the hatch frame. Now you got to test it out, make sure I put the ladder on correct, because they will snap in the wrong spot. Make sure you can get in and out. Good to go. There you go. Pretty simple. Now for the inside of the boat, it's a little bit uh, a little bit complicated. You just want to, but you could just want to stack things as best you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a ceiling tile back here. And then I am going to put things on top of there so I got more room. So first thing I'm going to do is, and you don't have to watch this part. You can skip forward if you want, but I'm just throwing the smitty down just to show you guys how you can fit stuff on here. 
So the boat itself, before I put that ceiling tile, like I said, was 98 pieces. So that's the floors, the walls, the gateway, everything. All right. And then we're going to throw some uh, boxes in here. Just give me some storage. There we go. A little storage. All right. Now I am going to, I want to do my fabricator. Where's it at? Oh, that's a grill. Let's see if I can put the grill here. I think I tried the fabricator prior to this and it, it wouldn't fit right. So I'll we'll put another ceiling tile down because I want two there and see if the grill will fit. But it won't. Now, like I said, I have obstructions off, so I could slap this down, but you cannot do it if you don't have the obstructions off. So I'm not going to do it because that wouldn't be fair to show you guys. So I'm going to set it over here. And I don't like because it's sticking through the roof. So let's pick it up. And let's put it a little further out. Right about there. That works. All right. So now I have industrial grill. And we're going to put the fabricator right here. See if I can get it about right. I don't want it sticking out the outside. It's just me. I just think it looks weird. All right. So now that that's down, let's grab these forges. Well, let's do the chemistry bench first. Let's see where I can put this thing. Like I said, obstructions are off on mine, so I could stick it pretty much anywhere, but I'm not going to. We're going to put it right here. This would work, even if you had that on, you might have to take that box up, but you could fit it there. And you could fit the box another way. So now the generator, to power everything, I don't want to stick it there. I'm going to stick it on this other side. I'm trying to leave a gap so I can get behind the grill, but I don't know if it'll work. Then we are going to throw down the fridge on this side. So I want all the plug-in spots in the same spot. I'm going to take the ceiling out to make sure. You need to put the fridge down first. If you put the ceiling down first, you won't be able to get the fridge under it. So if you put the fridge down, you can throw the ceiling on top, and it will snap, even with the obstruction part on. All right, so then we're going to slap this in here. And now I'm going to switch to the air conditioner. Now, right about here when I do the air conditioner, I apologize. For some reason, the sound kicked on and I caught some noise in the background. So I lowered the sound volume here as far as the snapping. You won't hear that anymore. Apologize for that. I don't know why my mic did that. So now I have the pieces where I want them. I'm going to grab the industrial forges, stick them on top. And all you do is put them where you want them. And then you turn them after you click the once. So I'm going to turn until I get them where I want. And I want the back not sticking out the roof. So what I'm doing is trying it this way and I'm just kind of turning them part way and I'm gonna look on the roof and see if it works for me. And I think this is the way it didn't work. I don't like it because it sticks out the roof. So let's go take a look. So it looks like it's sticking out the roof. So I'm gonna go up on the ladder. We're gonna take a look quick. And you see they're sticking out. I don't like that. It looks weird. So I'm gonna pick them up and put them back down. All right, let's set them back down. And this time I'm going to turn them a little bit more so the, the chimney part is sticking out the back of the boat or in the inside of the boat, just like that, right there. That should work. Do all three of them the same way. Well, let me go look, make sure. See, can't see it. Works for me. So let's put the other two down. And you can add other stuff on the boat. I'm just showing you guys the basic materials you need. Um, I have another boat I do with an industrial forge um, that works really good, but it's not enclosed like this. It's just, it's more open, but you can do that too. And that works really good if you're running around collecting metal, but there you go. And you can access the inventory of each one to cook stuff. And now we are going to power up my stuff. So I'm going to run this cord. And I don't like how it's in the motor boat. As you can see, that electrical cord went in there and I can't access the boat anymore. So I'm going to pick that up. 
I'm going to pick this generator up and I'm going to move the generator just a little bit. So I'm going to put the generator to the left a little bit more so that that uh, cross cable is not sitting inside the motor. There we go. Now it's on the outside. You see it's not in there anymore. I can turn the boat on and off. So now we're going to put the electrical outlet down. And once again, I did not like weird looking stuff. Um, so those cables stretched out, annoying for me. So we're going to put that a little closer. We're going to slap it down right there. Now those cables aren't so bad. All right, so now we have power to everything. If I put uh, gas in the generator, let's do that so you can see. Turn that on. And now you'll see that all of a sudden I have power. All right. So I'm going to put one more electrical cable over here. Throw me one more down outlet down. All right, and then I'm going to throw some lights down because I want some lights on the boat. Put one Omni light here. Turn that sucker on. There we go. And we're going to put one kind of in the middle. I don't want to stretch it too far because I don't want the cables going way out there. So I'll put it like in the middle of the boat. And that is actually inside the ceiling, so that wouldn't work. You wouldn't be able to do that on uh, if you didn't have instructions on. So. so let's move it a little bit. We're going to put it right here. All right, turn that sucker on. There we go. That's good to go. Now all I need to do is put the doors on. All right, and then we're going to test it out. I'm going to show you guys how it works. So you could throw down some other stuff. You don't need this because you have the industrial grill. You have the chemistry bent. So we don't need the uh, mortar and pestle either. So let's throw my doors on. All right, all five doors are down. And now we're good to go. So now let me grab a bird. and I'm going to show you guys how this works, just like the other boat. And we're going to go trap something real quick and trank it and just show you it works. All right. But let me let me pan out so you can see it. Let me put it in an orbital camera real quick. All right, there you go. That's what it looks like when it's complete. Of course, you can paint it whatever you want, make it cool looking colors. No, well, there we go. Grab my bird, and we're just gonna find something to tame. And there's a tri triceratops right there. So let's grab that trike. We'll use him. So we're just gonna back the boat up, like I said, all the way to the land. That's all you want to do. Let's back them up. Now you can use the bird to lead them in, but if they're close and there's nothing else around, you can just run out there on foot like I'm going to do. So we're going to run out here on foot, knock this compy out the way, and then let's hit this trike. I'm just going to punch him. Bam. He's going to chase me onto the boat. I'm going to run in here, and he's in there. Now all you got to do is trank him. Now a word of warning, trank him and knock him out before you move the boat. I've seen him glitch off the boat. So there you go. He's down. He's only at level 20 really quick. So now we're going to move the boat just out a little bit. And as you will see, he is still on the boat. Go take a look at him. All you got to do is put your food in him and tame him. All right. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.